whole new level. She is one of the leading fly fishers in a sport dominated by men. Please welcome today's female groundbreaker, April Vokey. Hi, April. Hi. Okay, now, many people have seen it, but exactly what is fly fishing? Well, have you ever fished before? Absolutely. I've been fishing since I was a little kid. Awesome. So with regular fishing, let's call that conventional fishing, uh -huh. you use the weight of the lure or the lead to get your hook to the fish. Right, yeah. Right. Well, with fly fishing, we're trying to cast little tiny flies. Think black flies or house flies like you have in your house. Right. They're really small. So we have to use the weight of the line to deliver the hook to the fish. How did you get into fly fishing? I started fishing at a really early age. Mm -hmm. My dad never really fished. No one in the family got me into fishing. It wasn't until I was in my teens, until I was 16 and I could drive, that I started fishing every day. What's the biggest misconception about fly fishing? You know, there's three of them that I'm going to tell you. One is that it's expensive. It's really not that expensive at all. Two is that it's a man's sport and that you've got to be this guy with lots of muscles to be able to deliver your fly to the fish. It's all finesse and timing, so it has nothing to do with strength. And finally, when you think of fly fishing, do you think of an old guy with a pipe in his mouth? Yeah. 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 It's boring. Some waiters on, yeah. Yeah, it's boring. That's not why I do this. I do it for the adrenaline part. You can fly fish for tranquility and for relaxation as well. So it's really whatever you're looking okay, for. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to teach you three very basic fundamentals. Okay. First things first, this is like a paintbrush. Okay. This is like your paint. Okay. Whatever you're going to draw with your paintbrush, your paint is going to show, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I got it. So what I want you to understand is that rod tip placement is very important. Rod tip placement. You got it. Yeah, it's just like when you cast. Yeah, with the lure. Yeah. Exactly. Now, rod tip placement. Okay. let's go ahead and do the cliche um, clock analogy. If this is 12 o'clock, uh -huh. this is one, uh -huh. two, three, okay. all the way around, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and let's try to keep it between 11 and one. Keep the rod, the rod tip. tip between 11 and one. Now watch what happens. You're using your wrist. We want to use your forearm. So what I want you to do is I want you to watch my rod tip here, and okay. just the rod tip. Rod. I'm going to start between three and nine. Do you notice? There's no one behind me, is there? Notice that my loop is, what shape is it? It's huge, right? Yeah, it's huge. Horrible. Now watch what happens. I'm going to start to slowly shorten my stroke. And now you see, you see how tight that loop is now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The second one, the second one is timing. So if I have it between 11 and 1, but I'm too fast, what happens? It whips, it right? Whips. right? So we need to give our line enough time to unroll behind us before we come forward. Right before you come back. Say it takes three seconds. Watch this. One, two, three. 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 Now let me say, can you feel it back here? Yeah. It's a feel thing. You can so when you feel it, it that's... You can come on with it. That's called loading the rod. Loading the rod. So it's like this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the final thing is after you counted a three and okay. you felt your rod load, okay. you want to make sure that you are having the proper power application. Okay. So it's a complete and sudden stop. You can't bounce it in the front. You can't bounce it in the back. You just want to make sure that it's a complete stop. When you say a complete stop, what do you mean? Just as you come forward on your forward cast, just make sure you stop without bouncing your rod tip. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, totally. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Nice. Good, and easy on the floor. Are you using your wrist? Yeah, I did. I was using the wrist. Put this foot forward. Good. Now use your body. Just be a woman for a second. As soon as you start casting like a woman, you start casting properly. That's what I want to do. I ain't got no problem. Awesome! Yeah, see, I've been waiting to do this my whole life. You got it going I've on. I've never done this, but I need this on tape. <laughs> okay, go ahead and drop it down. You got it. You're so sassy. <laughs>